Happy Monday. I'm Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter with your first defense forecast. And wanted to start off with a beautiful weather eye picture of this. This is called the Hunter's Moon. And no, this has no relation to me. Uh, but uh, the Hunter's Moon occurred last night. And this was a beautiful shot of it over Chautauqua Lake. Basically, the Hunter's Moon is when we have a full moon and it appears orange. And uh, that was a beautiful shot. Thanks to Jessica for sending that in to us. That was absolutely gorgeous. And of course, you know, Facebook, Twitter, is how you get it to us if you want to send pictures or videos of the weather. The, the rain over the next five days, it's going to be up and down here pretty much throughout the week. It's up today, down tomorrow, up again Wednesday and Thursday, and then it goes down as we go into Friday. Wednesday and Thursday, there's going to be a strong cold front uh, that's going to be moving through the Great Lakes, and that will provide uh, the more better chance for more widespread rain. We'll show you a future scan. We'll go into the future here, and you can see the model does pick up on these lake effect rain showers. Yes, it is possible to get rain that forms over the lake, and you can see it coming directly off the lake. As usual with Lake Effect, the lakeshore communities generally don't get a whole lot. It's once you move inland is when you start to see the rain. That'll continue throughout the afternoon today. Not a whole lot of rain accumulation, but it's going to be on again, off again type of rain. Continues this evening, clears out tonight, and then tomorrow is going to be a fabulous weather day, and we're back to October about where we should be. Nowhere near that today. Showers, a few Lake Effect, especially early this afternoon, quite chilly. A few breaks in the, uh, a few breaks in the rain coverage, but do not expect much sunshine. I think it's really just going to be cloudy throughout the day. 46 to 50. Average high is 60, just to give you a reference of where we should be. West wind 11 to 17 uh, miles per hour. Tonight, early uh, the uh, early lake effect rain continues uh, uh, basically in patches here and there. Otherwise, most of the cloud intervals, 37 to 44. West wind averaging about 6 to 12 turns light uh, overnight by morning. Up on the 7-day, 62 tomorrow. That's right around where we should be for this time of the year. 52 on Wednesday. Here comes a strong cold front on Wednesday. The wind picks up on Wednesday as well. We may see a wind advisory Wednesday and Thursday as the wind whips up to maybe gusts around 45 to 50 miles an hour. And then temperatures fall down again on Thursday with that front 46. And then the weekend looking nice and dry so far with temperatures actually above average in the middle to upper 60s.